Hey guys, the IATA is asking to have restrictions taken away at airports and a lot of the governments are starting to jump in on this too. Um, it looks like within two to three months, all these travel restrictions might be gone. The only restrictions that would be left behind would be for um, unvaccinated people, which they would still have to be quarantined a little bit, stuff like that. But if you have the vaccination card, a who approved vaccination card or whatever, you're all set to roll. You, you could be, a, be able to travel and everything. Now this is coming out um, on one of the news agencies. I'm gonna put the, the link in there and you guys can read it and see what it's all about. But it's not just this organization that is asking for this. A lot of the, um, we have a governor right here in the Philippines down by Cebu and she also wants to have things eased and you know make things go back to normal to where they should be. Um, I'm seeing this around um, the Philippines already, we're starting to see some of that. They were asking for vaccination cards in a lot of areas and that has disappeared, it's gone. Um, they still do ask it in some locations, but it, it depends on the mall that you go to. I'm not sure if it's up to the malls or if it's up to the specific barangays or who it's up to or whether it's up to that city or whatever, but I just know that in some places they don't have it, some places they do have it, and it's a good thing. So I'm hoping that maybe we'll see masks disappear. And I got a feeling that maybe either in March or April or, or maybe May or June, we'll start seeing that happen too, that that'll disappear also. Now there's been a lot of talk also, and we just talked about this the other day, about the 36 months. Um, I don't see that changing guys. From everybody that I spoke to, this is what's going on. They're saying that that 36 months is still in place for you know unrestricted countries for tourists on arrival, you know, that they can do that 36 months, no problems. You can do two six month stints where you can, you don't, you don't have to keep on showing up at the BI. Um, so don't worry about that guys until it happens, if it happens. And I doubt that it's going to happen because it has to happen by presidential order, executive order. So the, the chances of that happening, it's about that much. If it happens, we'll live with it. We'll, we'll do what we have to do. Um, I know there's, there's some bloggers out there that are still stating and swearing up and down and jumping up and down saying, no, it's true, it's true, it's true. Well, we haven't seen that happen here yet. We've, we've heard from the Filipina P, she's stated it. I've gone and asked them myself and they said everything is still in place. I've gone, I, I was there a, a short time before the, the, um, that the, this vlogger, particular vlogger said that. I went to the, the, the BI and asked them specifically and they says, yes, you can keep on doing it. You can stay for up to 36 months. So I want to just touch on that for a second, but I want to get back to this thing about these these things dropping away. I can honestly see, just from fe a gut feeling that I have and from things that I'm reading, and uh, there's a lot of stuff out there now about this. I think all this stuff's going to go away. I think we're going to go back to normal. I think by June, we'll see things right back to normal because I, I see things dropping away fairly fast. I, I'm hearing that on um, May 1st, we're going to see a different level and we might even see the mask go away possibly that's that's talk in some places I'm, I'm not sure that the mask will go away i don't think that they will but there is talks about some uh losing all these alert levels and stuff like that but we'll have to wait and see if that happens we'll, we'll know more on march 1st when when that comes out what, what's going to happen with they're going to get rid of the alert levels or whatever it's just pure speculation right now so we'll stick with that but the thing that the thing is that this IATA is is asking for all these different countries to drop all these restrictions, to get rid of it for travel. So if that happens, then what's gonna happen is they're gonna say, well, look, if we can travel between countries and we can do all this stuff and we, we can drop all these restrictions at the airports, why would we have them at a mall? Why would we have them when people are out, out and about, you know, going into uh, places or in public places? Why would we have all this stuff to wear masks anymore? Because it's kind of be getting to be like a, a big nothing burger now. There's really nothing going on to, to really, you know, there's, there's no more um, big COVID scares out there right now. Omicron ended up to be um, almost nothing. You know, it wasn't a, really a big deal. I mean, we all did our mask thing. We did, we did everything that we were supposed to do and everything. But I mean, all, all this stuff's falling away now. It's all falling away. Um, I think even in hospitals, or maybe in hospitals, they'll keep that for a while longer, maybe for another six months or something, but maybe outside hospitals, everything will still be the same. You know, go back to normal from the way it was two years ago or what have you. Uh, my feeling is that's where we're headed. 
you know, because when big organizations like this here that represent a lot of countries and a lot of airlines, and I think it's like, I think they said 90% of 83% or 90% of the, the airlines or something like that they represent or whatever it is. So they said something about some percentage or whatever, but it, you know, when, when an organization that big who represents all these airlines and represents all these different countries and everything says something like that, that tells me things are starting to get back to normal. That's huge because travel is where the thing is going to spread. So if, if that opens up, why would they keep all this? It doesn't make any sense, but that's just pure speculation right now. The Philippines is definitely has been one of the harder countries, the tougher countries with COVID for sure. They've, they've done a pretty good job over here at keeping it kind of padded down. Whenever things uh, ticked up with COVID, they ticked up, you know, and it kept things more under control over here. I noticed it. I, you know, I, I got to say that it, it, they did a, a pretty decent job. Was it fun? Hell no, it wasn't fun. It was horrible. You know, it was terrible for the people that had to put up with all that and put up with wearing masks and shields and, you know, getting our temperatures checked and signing papers when we walk into a restaurant. Um, sitting at a table with a piece of glass between you and your girlfriend. It wasn't fun by no means. And hopefully we'll start seeing all those things get torn off the tables in restaurants and things pretty soon and, and things will start changing. But, you know, right now we're just, like I said, it's just speculation, but I do see things heading in that direction. Okay, and other people are saying the same things that they're starting to feel that things are getting more back to normal. And with them letting all the tourists back in here, I can't see them keeping it the same way when we got tourists coming in here. They want to spend their time with their family and be back to normal because they're sick and tired of the COVID. So people want to go on vacation. They don't want to sit with a piece of glass between them and their girlfriend or they're sitting at a table and they can't have anybody sit across from them, but they can have them sit next to that chair that's empty in front of them. It doesn't make any sense because it's almost the same distance. It's, it's like maybe a six inches dif difference or something like that. You know, it just doesn't. It doesn't register. I don't see the the reasoning behind that. I just can't see it, you know. But anyway, guys, until then, I'm going to be working on my beard, you know, to get my beard grown back. Because like I said, my girlfriend cut it. Um, so it looks kind of funny without my beard. I feel kind of naked without it. But um, I'm going to work on growing my beard until all this stuff goes back to normal. But I do see it going back to normal, guys. I, I do have, you know, a good feeling about that. I'm seeing that the guards and stuff are a little bit more lenient on the, the COVID stuff. I see people just, them just waving people by. Some of them aren't even really looking at the temperature things when they're walking by. They're just, you know, just go, just go. You know, like I walked by, I put my hand up in front of the thing and the thing was, I don't know if it was jammed or the battery was dying on it or something like that. But what happened was it didn't register and he says, just go ahead. So I was like, okay, you know, but he, he didn't, you know, he didn't know what my temperature was. I was good. I didn't have a fever or anything, but just the same. That's why I say things that happened because before they were really hardcore. They wouldn't have let that fly before. They probably would have had people wait until they get the machine fixed or what have you. That's the way things were. Now it's more lax. I see people sitting together at Texas Roadhouse the other day. And also the, the late, by the way, I went to the Texas Roadhouse yesterday and while I was there, the lady, she had big bags under her eyes. She looked like she was really tired. And she told me she was really tired because I know her. Um, so a big shout out to Texas Roadhouse. But anyway, she told me that the day before they were really busy with customers. I think a lot of them were expats too. So that tells me that the expats are starting to pour in here. And I'm getting phone calls left and right. I'm getting bombarded by phone calls. And um, guys, when you call me, try to keep it, keep, keep it really... Um, tight on the phone calls if you can. It really, really helps me because I do have to have family time too. And I do try to take phone calls um, usually during the 5 to 9.30 time, you know, here in the Philippines. But if you call me during the day, it's touch and go. If I'm out with my family or I'm out with a friend and we're having dinner or something like that, sometimes I'll answer the phone, sometimes I won't. It depends whether I'm in the car or not. Depends what I'm doing, but if I'm sitting there having a conversation with my with my girlfriend and my family or whatever, and we're trying to have a good dinner or something like that, usually I don't answer. I just let it roll. And what I do is I try to call back later. Or I wait till that, that person calls back. I don't check. I don't check my my messages. Okay, I just have too many messages on there, and I, I talk to too many people, and it gives me no time. That's the only way I can keep on top of everything that I'm currently juggling right now with um, the emails, the comments, and everything. So, you know, like I tell people, don't leave me messages. Just call back till you get me. 
you'll get me sooner or later. You will get me, okay? Because I, I answer probably about 90% of the phone calls. About 10% I don't answer only because I'm, you know, with somebody, like I said, or I'm with my family, or maybe I'm taking a little bit of vacation time or whatever, half a day's vacation or a day's vacation, but that's not very often. Most of the time, I'm, I'm pretty much working, answering calls or what have you. But anyway, guys, I just want to throw that out there. I'm going to put the two links in there for you guys to watch. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care.